Hey, Sunday school. So nice to see you again. What is this? This is our third week together. I'm really happy that you come in and visit me like this. You know, before you came in, I was reading some of the questions that you had for me. I think this is from Miss Mimi and Miss Anush's class, the students that are in that class. You have some really, really exciting questions, and some of them I'm going to answer today. Others we'll get to next week or the weeks after, and if other students have some questions, please write them down, give them to me, give them to your teacher, and I'll make sure that I get to them on this uh, video. Let's see. One of the questions here it says, what's the wine that you use for the bread? Another one says, why do you wear fancy shoes? I'm surprised some of you noticed those fancy shoes. Do you like it with all those beads and everything on it? It's another question is, why do you wear special clothes? And uh, one more question, why do you sometimes use the purvar and sometimes not? That's a good word that you learned, purvar. That's, of course, the sensor with all the smoke. Well, let me tell you something. What we do in the church service, this is our worship service. And the worship in the Armenian church revolves around this sacrament, which we call the badarak. 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 Can you say it? Let me hear you say it. Badarak. No, no, no. I want everybody to say it. Badarak. One more time. Badarak. Very good. Very good. I know some of you in the back over there they weren't uh, with everybody else, but it was very good. Badarak in the Armenian church means sacrifice. It's comes from the word uh, in the Greek, which is Eucharist, which means Thanksgiving. And our service is this service of Thanksgiving, thanking God for what he gives us during our lives. And also badarak means sacrifice, because what we're doing is we're sacrificing something very important, sacrificing ourselves for the worship of God. And during this badarak, we use different things. First of all, we use the bread, and I'm going to ask our camera lady to come in on this. This is called a nishhar. Can you say that with me? Nishhar. Very good. We use the nishhar, and we use wine. Now this is just flour and water, and it's rolled out, and we make these small little wafers. In fact, some of you Sunday school students I know last year um, made it with me during the Easter uh, during the Easter season. Uh, some of you remember, and of course we'll get to it again uh, this year. Now, also we use wine, and usually we use red wine, but it doesn't matter. The idea here is to recreate what happened at Jesus's Last Supper. And if you remember, at that Last Supper, Jesus picked up the bread and he picked up the wine. He said about the bread, he says, "This is." my body, and he picked up the wine and he said, this is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And so every time that we break the bread and drink the wine, we remember Jesus and his love for us. And so this is really important for us to remember. What we do every Sunday is recreate the Last Supper and give thanks to God for everything that he gives us, for all the goodness that we have in our lives. And because it's such a special service, we wear special clothes. The priest, the deacon, the choir, the, everybody comes in a very special, uh, with special clothes on to participate in this service. Not because of anything magical, but to say that this service is not a service that happens all the time but is a very special service and it's just like when you go to a party well you don't wear your street clothes when you go to the party or when you're gonna go play in the street you don't wear your nice clothes. well I know some of you some of you probably wear some nice street clothes some nice party clothes and go play in the street but your parents probably get mad at you but for the most time you should have separate clothes for the street and separate clothes for parties and good occasions. It's like, you know, my friend Mr. Rogers, he also is on TV. Mr. Rogers, when he comes into his Mr. Rogers neighborhood, what does he do? 
He takes off his jacket and he puts on his sweater so that he could play. Well, the same thing. You have special clothes for every day, but when you come to church, you wear special clothes that say that we are doing something very, very, very special. And that's what Badara is. It's a very special service. It's a solemn service, which means it's a holy service. We get together, we wear special vestments, they're called, the clothes that the priest wears, and we have also special shoes. And every part of the service is a very unique and special occasion. In the next few weeks, I'm going to take you downstairs in the vestry and show you a lot of the vestments that I wear and explain to you what each part is. Like, for instance, the bodas that comes behind the priest's uh, head, the cape, which is called the shurchad, even the hands, osbans. I will explain all of those. But for right now, today's message is learn what the badarak is, that it is a very special service of thanksgiving. And of course, that's what we're all about. Thanking God for everything that we have, for your mommies, for your daddies, for your aunts and uncles, for your brothers and your sisters, for the homes that you have, for the life that you have. Just everybody, right with me right now, go like this. You know what I just did? I took a breath. And you cannot take a breath without saying thank you to God. Because without God, you couldn't live. You couldn't have that opportunity to breathe and enjoy everything that you have. So thank God always. And remember, I'm going to see you again next week. Thanks for being with me. Have a good week this week. And I'll probably see you upstairs in a little bit. God bless you.